what we have going right now on right now is a obviously a strange environment for everyone because we have authoritarians we have the media the hollywood all of them doing their absolute stellar best to control and manipulate the public public to use tactics in order to confuse people and make them feel guilty and do all the they use tactics in order to to screw with people's minds and get away with whatever they can get away with. You see, when you're on the left and you're part of this whole, you know, movement, this woke movement, getting behind all the the, the trash elements of, you know, hate. You know, we gotta hate everybody. We've got to defund the cops. We've got to hate white people, call it racism. We gotta hate straight people because and because they don't appreciate the fact that uh this transgender man can just beat the hell out of women in sports. We gotta we gotta hate those people who drive uh four-wheel drive vehicles, you know, or gas, you know, gas burning vehicles because oh, of course it's a it's a it's a uh climate apocalypse, right? We've got to hate, especially white males, of course, because we're part of the whole, you know, the patriarchy, you know, the white supremacists. Everyone's a victim to us. Doesn't matter. It doesn't take anyone on an individual, uh, you know, position. It's bulking it all together and developing this idea that we must hate our neighbor. That is what your authoritarians want. That's what this administration wants. And... I don't know how come so many people have fallen in line with this on the left. It didn't used to be that way. I remember there was a, you know, when you thought of a Democrat, you knew that they were people that said, man, keep your hand out of, you know, I don't want to serve the man. Stay out of my business. Keep your hand out of my pocket. Free speech, you know, all that. That is gone, man. And it's it's crazy. It's crazy to me that the, that the conservatives now are the ones pushing back. They're the new punk rock. The the leftists are all these zombies who have just fallen in line. And I, I don't I don't get it. I don't understand it. I guess it's not for me to understand it. All I need to do is understand what they're doing, not so much why they're doing it. And the the main thing that they're doing is lying more than anything because they're like children. They'll get away with whatever with whatever they can, and they will lie through the teeth to get it. And you know, if they if they want to groom kids through drag uh, drag show story hour, that's the, and say you're the crazy one. You you're the one who's who's the bigot. How dare you not let us groom your child and dance and twerk, you know, half naked in front of your seven year old? How dare you? Don't you see how bigoted that is? And we begin to go crazy. It, 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 the more people that jump on board with this, it just becomes a psychosis that we all begin to to share. By the way, it's it's something that you're you're subjected to slowly over time so that you get used to it. And I mean, a lot of things are happening very quickly now, which I think it, that it's um, something that the left is going to do. Do They're going to eat themselves. I, I believe that this is swinging back in the other direction. I really do. So, you know, don't be too upset and thinking that the world's coming to an end. I don't believe it is. I, I feel very strongly that America is uh, is going to rebound from all this idiocy and we'll look back on this point in history and be ashamed the people who should be ashamed will be ashamed okay all of those that <clears throat> excuse me have lied and they have sold you a bill of goods rather than delivering and doing what is needed to make this a stronger country and a better country for all have lied and they just continue to sell you on this bill of goods don't you know ignore the fact that the economy is is in completely in this ridiculous state of flux and uh that your groceries are sky high your gas is sky high that you know people are are uh that, that the workforce is com all in flux right now that nobody we're on on the brink of war i could go on and on i don't want to go go down that past so much because we're all subjected to it on a daily basis. And I'd rather look at 
the practicals of the moment and say, what, what can we do in response to this? Well, part of it is don't, I, I feel that everyone needs to spe speak out and you need to treat this the way that it needs to be treated, which is I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. <clears throat> they call us, I'm still getting over some congestion. So I apologize. Apologize. But if they want to call you a bigot, they want to call you a racist, a homophobe. I don't give a shit. I don't fucking care. I don't. I'll cancel you. I don't care. Cancel away. You know what? I am very capable. I am an individual and I'm capable of my I own. You know what? I don't need your approval, Mr. and Mrs. Leftist. I don't need it. I don't need it. You don't need it either. And they will lie. They will censor. They will they will um, tell you you can't you know that you can't question certain things, can't use certain words. They completely turn the English language upside down. You, there's certain terms you can't even use. You can literally get fired for that. Which is also the big corporations getting on board too. That's another thing. I I just that, that I understand a little bit more why they would toe the line, but the individuals should be standing up. This is ridiculous. And then of course there's gaslighting, which I've talked about a couple of times before you have not looked into what the definition of gaslighting is look at the seven you know distinct um traits of gaslighting it will awaken you to so much that's going on right now and because it's it's used in not just politics not just in our culture and all of that but in relationships as well you might find yourself in in an abusive relationship, this is a form of mental abuse. And it's where, uh, they will make you second guess your own sanity. See, so when they're, when they're introducing culture to all this craziness and telling you, you're the crazy one that is gaslighting. When you know with your common sense that you're being fed a bullshit bill of goods, but yet reality shows you you can see it with your own eyes like literally there is what was done and then what is being pitched it was done no no you didn't see that what you actually saw okay this is right you say hey you see mrs jean pierre i talk about this all the time you know whenever she's uh you know talking i'm trying to cover for biden all the time that you didn't see what you saw okay it was something completely different and this is what gaslighters do. You, you know that this isn't right. You know what you saw. You know your gut's telling you, wait a second, this, this is not moral. This is not principle. This does not have any values attached to it whatsoever. But they'll continue to push it and boil the frog and all of that. And we're going to talk about this more on the channel, uh, you know, as we, as we progress here. But learn about gaslighting because it's a big part of what's going on and then learn how to deal with it. Gaslighting's a very tough a tough issue. You know what I mean? So the, and they'll reframe things. They'll reframe relationships. They'll reframe, uh, who's to blame. They'll reframe the, the English language and mostly history. You see that a lot. And they're re just completely rewriting that shit. We, it's like, we didn't go through a civil rights movement, I guess. No. All right. Okay. Whatever. Okay. And then they'll blame you for everything. Everyone else is always to blame. Go on this channel. There's a, uh, a great motivational video for leftists that I talk about this and I'll put the link in here someplace for you to check out. you got to keep your boundaries with these people. Okay. Keep your boundaries, stay connected with, with, with like-minded people. I know some people might tell you, oh, you should not get into an echo chamber. Well, the echo chamber is good if the echo chamber is has values and principles and morals and is about growing and becoming a a a functioning human being. Some uh, you know a a strong individual that doesn't need a safe space and every freaking word that hits me freaking breaks my bones. Okay? That's it's good to be around people like that. And you need to shuck those people who bring you down, who talk you, you know, talk you into thinking, you know, you're the crazy one. No, you're the oddball. You know, you're, that goal is just way beyond you. Okay. You know, you need to focus on these other issues that are highly unimportant. These are the manipulators and these are the controllers. 
They'll make you focus on unimportant, stupid, dumbass shit that doesn't matter at the expense of everything that will have long and true lasting value in your life. So we need to not talk. We need to take action. And I want this to be a channel of people who take action and the best people. And so far I've noticed that they're, that's, that's what we get here. You know, you get a little troll here and there. <laughs> now and then I just laugh. doesn't really matter. Okay. And, and it shouldn't matter to you either. You really need to say, don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about these idiots. Okay. I give a fuck about the things that really matter that make the world work, that keep people, uh, strong and, and individual and free. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I want to thank you for just being a part of this. I just kind of wanted to ramble a little bit today since Justin wasn't here and just share this time with you. So important that you're here and we're going to continue to grow this channel and make it, make it something really special. I hope. Okay. And you're going to be there with us. So until next time, guys, know yourself better than you know anyone else.